Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. It is going to be a Sunday vlog today. I don't really know what we've got planned for the day. We need to go out because I need to make some returns. I need to pick up a parcel that I got delivered to the wrong house and when I say wrong house I mean the house that we lived in five years ago and we've lived in two houses including this one since. So we need to go back there. I've literally been trying to get hold of this parcel for a whole week but every time we go they're either not in or they don't hear us knocking at the door it's been an absolute pain and it's literally just like a parcel from plt and i've asked them to leave it outside like oh i'm on my way if you're going out can you just leave it outside and they're just refusing to do it which i understand because like they obviously don't want it to get stolen but i was kind of like it's my responsibility if it gets stolen so you know it's a little bit annoying having to go get it but we have just taken our progress pick. Well, I've just taken my progress picks for this week. Because we should do weekly progress picks, which is uh, interesting to say the least. So I've got my tripod and my light set up. I'm about to take Aiden's progress picks. And yeah, let's get on with our Sunday. Guys, I made a Gymshark order and I've just tried everything on. It's kind of cute, right? We've got some shorts. I really like this top. I don't know if I should have got it in a smaller size though because I feel like it's not like, you know, it fits fine. Maybe if I put it in like the tumble dryer, I might shrink it a little bit, but I actually love it. It's like halter neck top. And then I got the shorts. What are these? These are the Elevate shorts. I basically wanted shorts that would not cut my thighs in half. And I think we've been successful in the hunt for that. This is the Holternet Cami with shelf. <laughs> Not too sure what shelf means. But I got everything in a small and I think it's okay. Like the shorts, I don't feel like I'm being like sucked in, but I guess that they're quite comfortable, which is quite nice. And then the top again, I think I could have gotten an extra small. I wasn't sure on size and I spoke to my nail lady about it. Also I got my nails done the other day. If you saw the last vlog, you would have seen them already. And she says she's a 10 to 12. And normally gets a small, but I'd already made the order for a small now. I'm like, honestly, mainly an eight. Yeah, we're gonna go make some protein pancakes now. I was so excited because we had these last week and they tasted really, really good. This is the recipe we use for our protein pancakes. It's just from BBC Good Food and they're actually really good. So we've got one banana, oats, eggs, milk, baking powder, cinnamon, protein powder, and then we just use a little bit of butter for frying. just gotten to where I used to live and I'm watching Aiden and he's just popped out to go get the parcel and he's just stood there. The guy said he's in and my mum did text him to say we were 10 minutes away. So if he's not answering the door, hopefully Aiden rang the doorbell because last time I was here I didn't ring the doorbell. There's just a dog there. Where's the owner? I can hear people. Oh. Oh, there we go, there's the owner. Yeah, last time I was here, I knocked on the door and there was no answer. So then I just left and the guy was like, she didn't ring the doorbell. I was like, we used to live there without any doorbell and we could hear everyone. He's literally stood there this whole time. So strange. Is he knocking at the right door? Imagine he's not at the right door. I'm sure he is though. Ah, he's got it. This has been the most stressful I'm not even actually stressed, it's not stressful. But the most difficult collection of a parcel ever. We've got three black dresses, two of the same. And then one is different. This is the different one. Oh, this is probably actually gonna go back. It's a very see-through, my God. No. Can't wear that. Okay, well, that's definitely gonna go back. And then, let's have a look at this one. This is kind of one that I wanted the most. This looks cute. Aiden, I can literally just see so much through it. My mum is calling me again. We'll see. We'll, we'll try it on when we get home. Right, now we're going to go to Blue Water because I need to return more clothes. So let's get going and we're having a Starbucks coffee date. Yeah. Aiden's got this thing called the Sunday Moody's and they're starting to come out a little bit. You best 
You best check yourself before you wreck yourself. It's also connected to your phone. That's better. That's not good. Oh, yeah. You love this Taylor is a banger. Swift. This is a banger. No, Ada, just please, listen to this no. one song for me. Tell me, please, if you know Tell me if you know it. I don't know. Please it. just listen to it. I don't know it. Well, listen then, see if you like it. No. It's a song I know. You made me young. May or may not have just forgotten you guys in the car. So sorry about that. But POA is to make our Zara return and do a lap of the downstairs of Blue Water and a lap of the upstairs to get our steps in. And Aiden and I are also obviously going to stop off for a Starbucks because we like to do our australian planning whilst enjoying i don't know but we just we just chat about it and i was just saying to aiden that he definitely needs to wear like back to 100 in australia because he burns and he looks like a lobster what time and it's not good for you today? what time are we having dinner today i don't know we haven't even had lunch yet well that's why i'm asking because i might get lunch oh i don't know whenever we want dinner really what do you want Oh, tortilla, I love tortilla. Just going to the Hollister change rooms. I've literally got like a spot on my face. But I've just tried on this like Gilly Hicks, what, what are we gonna call this? Like tracksuit top, it's in a small, and I thought it'd be like too big around my waist. I want it to be like skin tight, but it is nice. So I'm happy that I've tried it on. I don't think, no, they don't actually have an extra small, so I'm not gonna get this today, but I've also bought in a little dress and then it's like a little um, tennis skirt. I don't play tennis. So do I actually really need this? Probably not. We're gonna have to ignore the fact that I actually could not be able to take off my shoes and my leggings. But this isn't the dress, it's cute. I just feel like it's a little bit unflattering in the chest area. Like, I don't know, if it was like more stretched. I don't know, there's just something off about the top area, but it's a really cute dress and has shorts underneath. They're like proper, like, gym short material not just like random but yeah it's gonna be a no for me and i'm not even gonna try on the skirt because i don't need it so what's the point we've come for our coffee date and we're doing our most favorite pastime is australia not planning but australia something we're currently on the australian mcdonald's menu seeing all the fun things we can get i just saw this chicken and cheese i actually feel like that would be really good and then and i don't know how you say that alioli alioli chicken wrap What's that, Caesar? They had a, they had a nice one. What? A oh, big the, brekkie that burger. That sounds good. A big brekkie it burger. Hash browns, <laughs> egg. egg, beef, and bacon. bacon. What's that? Chicken, chicken and bacon, bacon McMuffin. McMuffin. That BL, is so a BLT strange. BLT McMuffin. What? Chicken McMuffin. Oh yeah. What the hell? So is that an actual burger? Yeah. What else? Hash brown. Great tomatoes. Great tomatoes. Hotcakes. Oh, they've got soft serve. We don't have this in the UK anymore. This is my favourite with a flake. Oh, McFlurries. Caramello. Oreo M&M. Oh, Chocolate yeah. McFlurry, is that? Yeah, Ice cream. Oreo cookies. Hot fudge sundae. Loads of sundaes. McDonald's cookies. <gasps> cookies. I'm definitely... Hot cross bun. That's yeah. just got to be for Easter, surely. We won't get that. What is that? Macaron. Oh, okay. I can see from the side. Toast. Apple crumble muffin, I bet that is great. <gasps> Toasties! Mm -hmm. Yum. I feel like we're gonna have to rename this vlog into a try and haul. Also, you have to excuse Aiden in the mirror playing his game. But we went into River Island of all places because I was like, Do you know what, we need to get on our steps and let's just go have a look. And I actually found this really cute little set. It's like a linen, is it linen? I think that's a linen material. And yeah, I just thought it was really nice. I've got everything in a size six. Like the shorts fit me perfectly. Obviously they're a little bit see-through, but the top, it fits me nicely, but I kind of want to go maybe even two sizes up, maybe get a size 10. So it'd be like super oversized because then I could just wear it over like a bikini or something just on its own. But I just find like the arms are maybe a little bit too skinny for what I wanted. But I feel like it's a really cute outfit. I wasn't so sure on like the button detail here. It's just a bit random that there's a little button there. But I think all in all, it's actually a really lovely set. Obviously like wearing nude underwear with it would be so much better. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I've always wanted like a little set like this where I could like tuck in like one half the shirt. It was so funny because we were in the shop and the was like on the hanger 
and it was like one side of the shirt was tucked in. Aiden was like, this is really annoying me. And then like untucked it and I was like, that's the style. It's meant to be like that. I kind of love how I bought full outfits from River Island, but this one will be going back purely because of the sizing. Like I actually think the outfit is pretty cute. Is that meant to be more twisted over? I feel like it is. Oh God, I can't can't quite twist it there we go okay so i picked up this denim skirt and it's a bit asymmetric i just thought it was really nice but that is such an issue i got it in a size eight but the only issue is if i went down a size then it's going to be too tight along the thighs so that is a little bit of a shame i, mean, I could move the button along but i don't know if i can actually be bothered to do that this top is a size six and i got it because it was the smallest one and it looked already kind of big i'm normally a size eight and yeah it is just ginormous like it's not it's not given but i feel like from a distance if you didn't know that the outfit didn't fit then it'd be a really cute outfit but it is gonna be a no from me today so these both are gonna go back which i'm kind of happy about because this is 30 and i think the top is like 16 or something is it worth 16 pounds probably not i'm not gonna like exchange these for different sizes either i'm just gonna straight away send them back but i'm definitely gonna keep the other set but then just change the size of the shirt not only do we have the side men on aiden has also hijacked my ipad and is playing it with his controller and he thinks it's like the coolest thing ever i don't know because if we've got his youtube on this is normally my form of entertainment and i normally like play a game on my phone put some youtube airpods in but he's taken it and even though he can actually play xbox on the tv yeah but people aren't as good as on this so so that helps you out. It uh, make me feel better about myself. <laughs> but he basically wants to trial this out because when they're working away, they're all going to like, I don't know. He's not, you're not seeing my iPad, right? No, yeah. you're not. No, no, you're not. I know that. No, it's got my whole planner on it for my weeks. Mm. But I'm currently eating. We got these today. They're the um, Malteser ice cream bars. I absolutely love. This is very specific. But the Malteser, like, they're like three circle ice creams. And they're just really, really good. But this is like the closest thing I can get to it. So, I'm eating this. Had a cup of tea. And um, I'm definitely turning this off so at least I can watch something normal. Currently just getting ready for bed. And I have just realised I am in desperate need of fake tanning my face. I literally look like I could almost blend in with the walls behind me. So, here is my mini little nighttime routine. My room is very warm and I've got on long pyjamas tonight. So... RIP me, but I cannot be bothered to get changed. So we start off with a little bit of just Nivea. What is this? Nivea night cream. I honestly love this so much. And then the fake tan I'm currently using on my face. I really chop and change with my fake tans for my faces, but this is the Bondi Sands Self Tan Drops in Light Medium. And then I just put three drops on my face. I have this little brush from Primark. It's double-ended. The sponge is breaking and falling off but i blend in everything with the brush side and then with the sponge i'll just kind of take off any excess where the fake tan tends to stick so normally that's my eyebrows hairline across my nose really strangely i normally get a little line um my ears and then my tash and beard area because for some reason tan just loves to stick there next we have some eyelash serum this is the rapid lash i absolutely love this i also have the brow one but it's actually run out so i will just put this on the tails of my eyebrows because i don't really have a lot of hair there so we need as much help as we can get but obviously i just put it on the top of my eyelashes and it honestly works so well i used to always think that things like this were just not real like they were just a gimmick but rapid lash really makes a difference I then use the Essie Roll-On Cuticle Oil to keep my cuticles dry and my Biab lasting ages. Last few steps, I have this Night Ease Relax and Unwind spray for my pillow and I got sent it from Superdrug and I actually think it makes such a difference, like it really does send me straight to sleep i think i might have overdone that tonight though and then my last steps that i'm gonna do off camera i have some special toothpaste that i get prescribed and i basically this is so gross but i have to get one of these like little toothpick things and put it in between 
certain teeth so I don't get any more cavities. Not because I don't brush my teeth, I just got sensitive teeth. My lip balm of choice every night is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and then finally I have my night guard for my bottom teeth so I don't grind in my sleep. And that's my nighttime routine. So I hope you all enjoyed coming along on the day with me. I'm up at 5am tomorrow for the gym. So RIP to me. Um, and yeah, I hope you all had a lovely day, a lovely weekend. Hope you're all enjoying your day, your evenings, your mornings, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you all very soon in a new video. Bye.